Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my who knows what update this is. I, I say that every month because I never remember which number update this is for the Supernatural Pan Interrupted project that I am doing with my bestie Amanda. This is all about the TV show Supernatural and I'm sad that it is going to be coming to an end along with Arrow. They're trying to break my heart but um Yep, this one is all about Supernatural. We are doing a product for every single episode ever aired. So I guess there will be an end in sight because um, it will eventually come to an end. But it's going to take us a heck of a long time. We are still currently working on season two. Yes, yeah, so we got a, a while to go. Um, let's see. I have, I have one empty for you which means I will end up working on a new episode and bringing in a new product. So this is for Crossroad Blues. I went for the literal blue and went with this packaging, Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer, and there goes my phone. Um, let me get that, I will be right back. Sorry about that, I knew that was the hubby calling me back, so that's why I had to get that one. All right, so yeah, one empty for the Crossroad Blues, and um, I'm going to show you what I still have in. The first one is Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, and that had, there's a female ghost, she's out for revenge. So I went with the NYX Sex Bomb Femme Fatale. Um, you know, Femme Fatale is like fatal female. I went for the matte cream shade. No, it's not done. I ended up repressing it into this pan right here so that it can go in my magnetic palette. And it just makes it easier than having to pull out so many different things. So I still have a fair amount in there. I've probably used about half of what was in the original pan. So I am still working on that one. I do hope to have that done by the next update, maybe. Maybe not. If it's not done, it'll be close. So, um, all right. For no exit, they find ectoplasm when they're doing their search. So I, ecto, ectoplasm is like a residue from ghosts or um, supernatural beings. Um, in like Ghostbusters, they show you ectoplasm and it's like a gelatinous goo. So I went with gel, hair gel, and this is the Pantene classic total control gel. I was here last time and I'm down here now. And part of the reason that I have made such good progress on this is because the weather here has been awful. And when that weather is awful, I do not mess with like my natural texture. I go with the curls. Don't even think about straightening it, straightening it during um, the really wet months here. And um, it's been raining a lot. It pretty much rains every single day, at least a little bit. And um, so yeah, I've been using a lot more gel to keep the frizzies down, even though I still get the frizzies. Um, it would be a lot worse if I wasn't using that much gel. So not going to be done by next update, but I am going to continue to make some really good progress on that one. All right, moving on to the usual suspects. Um, there, um, there is a ghost soul in this one that is pivotal to the plot. So I went with the ghost. Ghosts are white. I picked a white product. It is the... Coastal Sense Ultra Silk Mica Powder, I had to read it off the top. There's only a little bit left. I do use this on my eyes, and um, every now and again I'll highlight with it, like the Cupid's Bow area. Sometimes I'll tap it on my lips, which is why I didn't press it, because I, I have similar shades that are pressed already, so I'm going to use that, you know, for different things all over the place. It, it's my multitasker right now. I don't know if I can have this done by the next update, but I think it's going to get close because it's it's hard to tell just how much is in there. I, I don't know if I can do it. I'm going to try, but um, if it's not done, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. All right, the next one is the Croatoan, and Sam has visions of Dean killing a man with a scar on his head, so I chose like a scar and stretch mark lightening lotion, and this is the Revitagen 
um, skin rejuvenating cream. I don't know where my brain just went. I, it was brand new when I brought it in and now I'm down here at this blue line. It's going to be slow going. It's kind of odd. Um, <laughs> it's weird. It's one of those things where when I put it on and um, if I'm putting it in multiple places, I, I've had three kids, two of them over 10 pounds. Um, I have stretch marks. It's just, that's just the way it is. So, you know, I, I put it on and it almost leaves um, like a stain on your hands. You know, like when you use, not like, um, like a self tanner, but the, the kind of lotions that, um, have like a little bit of like that gradual self tanner in it. That's the staining it leaves on your hands. So that I don't really want to use it every single day because I don't want like brown palms. I, that's a little crazy. I know, but, um, I just, no, no, I don't want that. So I am, I'm going a little bit slower than I normally would be with a product like that. All right, moving on to Hunted. Um, this is where Sam goes to see Ash. I chose to um, focus on Ash for this particular um, episode. And I went with the Coastal Sense Hot Pot in Ashen. And I've got just a tiny bit of usage in there. I don't even know if you're going to be able to notice that. Um, I am working on a similar shade in my Pan That Palette. As soon as that is done, then I'm going to really work much harder on this one. I'm only trying to hit pan on this one, so. I don't think I will have that by the next update, but um, hopefully I will have at least a very visible dip in that one. All right, that is my rollover products there. I need to bring in something for playthings. And um, this episode... There is a house that is haunted and um, there's hoodoo symbols all over it. And a lot of people are speculating that the hoodoo symbols are actually what is causing the hauntings and the problems with this house. But it turns out in that episode that it is actually the girl's grandmother, whose name is Rose, that has put these symbols up to protect her and to protect the house. So I am going to be playing off of the grandmother, whose name is Rose, and I'm going to pick a product that is a rose color. I am going back into the Coastal Sense 88 palette and I am going to choose an eyeshadow that is very rosy and that is this one right here as one falls out. Um, this shadow right here is kind of a rosy color like a dusty rose color and um, I would like to hit pan on that one and if anyone numbers and letters the way I do where they have the numbers 1 through 11 across and the letters A through H down, it's going to be F9. Because um, I know a lot of people have this palette still, even if it's not by Coastal Sense. This is one that was one of those rebranded where you could get them from like a bazillion different cosmetics companies. And I just, I find it easier for the purpose of project panning to like number and letter those. So F9, that is, that is the one. And no, I didn't sink your battleship. All right, that is my roll in. That is everything for this update. I'm going to have Amanda listed down in my description box if you want to click on her there. Or at the end of this video, I'm going to have her beautiful face right there. You can just click right on it and go to her channel to check out her update and the rest of her channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.